I'm here on the big island of Hawaii. One of my favorite places on earth. According to Hawaiian legend, every corner of this sacred island is inhabited by a different god. I'm heading south to find Pele. She's the goddess of fire who rules over the island's volcanoes. Hawaiian tradition says she lives here in the center of the Kilauea volcano. I know she can be elusive, unpredictable, and as moody as hell. You know, when you're shooting, you want a completely different perspective all the time. No matter what angle you go to, what time of the day is, you just got to get it. We hold it here? Sure. We're losing light here rapidly, and it's a really hard platform to shoot from up here. It looks insane on the horizon there. It's lit up like a Christmas tree. And I think that's where we're going to get the best shots, where the lava is actually hitting the ocean. Look at that, it's unreal! That is absolutely amazing. You never forget moments like this. It's just incredible! I've got a couple of shots out there. You can go through them here. But I'm really struggling with the low light. It looks beautiful and pretty from the air here, but I've just got to get down to the base of the lava where it's coming out on the ocean, onto a more stable platform. So tomorrow, I have to hike out to that exact spot to try to get my shot. You can see her there, she's about half a mile where Pele actually spews into the ocean. Finally got a 10 minute window right on sunset to actually get the photograph of her Been hiking out now on these lava fields for hours. I'm losing light really quickly. I can finally see where the molten lava enters the ocean. As this lava is 20 years old, but about two feet in front of me there, that lava is only two weeks old. Standing on the cliffs here, right on the Pacific Ocean. The scene here is absolutely incredible, but it's absolutely murder to try and get it on film. I'm struggling now doing 30 second exposures, one minute exposures, and it's just turned out to be a blurred mess. There's the shot. Jeez. Another postcard shot. She's just not doing it today. Everybody thinks it's an easy job, you know, traveling around all these beautiful places and taking pictures, but sometimes it's really difficult. My last resort is to go out on the water and try and capture this, but that's even tougher as well. You've got a rocking boat and low lights, but it's my last option. A boat will get me closer to the lava flow, but it means waiting for less wind, calmer waters, and the perfect light of sunrise. I've been waiting for days for the weather to clear, and tomorrow's forecast could finally be in my favour. It's 3 a.m. Good morning. You're the captain, are you? I am. Yeah, I'm Roy. Just early enough to get out to the Kilauea Ocean Entry Point for my window of perfect light. I need to be in place before sunrise. I'll have 10 minutes just before the sun hits the horizon to get my shot. So how's the lava been, Roy? Oh, it's tremendous. Yeah, there's opportunities to get pretty damn close. I like the sound of that. It's pitch black as we navigate across 12 miles of choppy waters. I want to take you and introduce you to Pele. She's the goddess of fire. Slowly, out of the darkness, I see distant flames on the horizon. This is what I've been waiting for. It's Pele, roaring to life. I've been hunting for a shot of the volcano goddess Pele for days. She's been playing hard to get, but maybe today's the day she'll finally cooperate. Have a look at the lava. 
lava flow behind me. Just unreal. Got a nice full moon just behind the lava out there. You can smell the sulfuric gases. You can see it coming across the lens there now. And that's Pele herself talking to us. You never know what she's going to do or what she's going to say. Like Mother Nature herself, she's totally unpredictable. I'm waiting for the magic moment at twilight. So I'm searching up and down the coast. There's different flows at different sections of different lava. And I want to find the perfect location and see what we can come up with. The lava oozing into the ocean is actually creating new land. Over the last 25 years, more than 500 acres have been added to the island. The scene out here is unreal, but the sun is starting to rise. And things are going to start happening real quick. So there's a fine line between too dark and too light out here. You've only got 10 minutes a day to grab that magic shot. That's why you get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and make sure you don't miss it. Sitting in the camera here at 400 ASA. It's really difficult shooting from the rocking boat. Worst possible conditions to shoot from. Roy, can we go further back, mate? And I'm trying to get as close as possible with the captain, but the closer I go, the waves let you come back and smash right over the top of me in the boat. I need to keep moving up and down the lava flows to the right spot because it's a constantly changing environment. Behind me, you can see there's like little mini tornado. They're about 20 or 30 foot high. These volcanoes have actually got their own weather system in there. And look at that! Bloody roaring! If you do get the shot, you nail it. This volcano is a temperamental, living, breathing thing. Anything could happen at any time. I've got to get my shot and get out of here. I finally nailed my shot of Pele, and here it is. When I look at this photograph, I can smell the volcano's sulphur and feel its intense heat. It really brings home that these magical islands are alive.